Good morning. Today is April 20th, 2016. And I'll be reading from Jesus Calling. It's a wonderful devotional today. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to share it with you. The scriptures that accompany this devotional are Psalm 103, 3, James chapter 4, verse 2, 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 9, and Matthew 7, 7. It reads, I am a God who heals. I heal broken bodies, broken minds, broken hearts, broken lives, and broken relationships. My very presence has immense healing powers. You cannot live close to me without experiencing some degree of healing. However, it is also true that you have not because you ask not. You receive the healing that flows naturally from my presence, whether you seek it or not. But there is more, much more available to those who ask. The first step in receiving healing is to live ever so close to me. The benefits of this practice are too numerous to list. As you grow more and more intimate with me, I reveal my will to you more directly. When the time is right, I prompt you to ask for healing of some brokenness in you or in another person. The healing may be instantaneous or it may be a process. That's up to me. Your part is to trust me fully and to thank me for the restoration that has begun. I rarely heal all the brokenness in a person's life. Even my servant Paul was told... My grace is sufficient for you when he sought healing for the thorn in his flesh. Nonetheless, much healing is available to those whose lives are intimately interwoven with mine. Ask, and you will receive. How true is this? (laughs) Uh, The Lord asks for a broken heart in a contrite spirit. He doesn't require us to sacrifice anything but our pride. As we do this, he molds us into the person he created us to be. He is the potter and we are the clay, as Isaiah says. He's our father, the maker of all of us. If you have a lampshade and there's a crack in it light's going to shine through it it's not necessarily a bad thing even though it's broken if you have a crown and you break it in half it's not necessarily a bad thing when it's broken because you can color and it still works Don't fall victim of seeing your brokenness as defeat. The Lord takes the broken and he makes weak things strong. All he requires of us is is to trust in him, to trust in his will, and to know that no matter what, he is healing us. Sometimes we don't see or feel the direct result of the healing that takes place in our lives we have no idea how we affect other people there's so many people in the past couple years that probably have no idea the impact they've had in my life and now i've dedicated my life to serving my lord and they probably will never know and that's cool they didn't do it for for praise but I will be eternally grateful. You have no idea the impact you're going to have in another person's life. So don't let your perception of your progress hinder you from giving yourself to the Lord and asking him for help. You ask not, so you have not. Ask and you shall receive. That's the promise the Savior gives us. I leave you with my testimony that I know that Jesus is the Christ. He's the Redeemer and He lives and He was 
crucified for our sins. He atoned for our sins. And three days later, he was raised, glorious, resurrected. He broke the bands of death and he poured out the Holy Ghost upon his disciples. Peace be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.